Hello, and welcome to Writer Rant, author advice in five minutes or less because I have to get back to writing and so do you. So today I'd like to talk a little bit about your readers. Okay, so if you're writing, obviously you have an audience in mind, and a lot of times knowing that audience helps you to know kind of what level that you should write at. Like if you're writing for children, Obviously, you kind of want to explain some ideas in a couple different ways so that they can eventually understand uh, the concepts you're trying to convey. Uh, if they're middle grade, obviously you can give them a little more credit, uh, but you can still kind of dumb it down a little bit. The thing I'm finding, though, is that it seems like more often than not, I'm finding books written that clearly are meant for adults because there's, you know, swearing or sex or whatever in it that, you know, would not be appropriate for children, but the writers are kind of talking down to their audience. They're essentially repeating stuff that it's like, okay, you know, if I've been reading this, I'm going to remember this, right? So the idea is that you want to have a story that's at least engaging enough that somebody's just going to keep reading and keep reading. They're not going to like set it down and then forget about it for six months and then come back and they're like, well, where was I? Oh, great. This author has already put in here something that I can use to remind myself where we were at. So I think a lot of authors, you know, they, they really want to get their point across, right? And in order to do that, sometimes they're really repetitive. And so it's like, okay, yeah, we get it, we get it. And so, you know, you really, really got to give your audience, you know, some credit, uh, especially if your audience, uh, your readers are going to be adults or somebody who, you know, can obviously string things together and actually connect the dots. So it's like, you know, it's no fun to have a connect the dot puzzle and have it essentially mostly filled in for you. You know, what's the fun in that? It's the, oh, hey, yeah, they, you know, the author referenced something earlier and then it has this connection in there and it's not like explicitly stated, but the reader who's astute was going to pick that up and they're going to, they're going to be rewarded for that kind of thing. Now, granted, you know, not everyone's going to be that way, but you don't want to just lay it out there every time. I mean, you got to give them credit. And really what it comes down to as well is when it comes to like basic ideas and basic concepts like, you know, magic or whatever, those kind of things, it's like, if you're writing in a certain genre, some of those things don't need to be explained, right? Because they're kind of the tropes of the genre and they kind of have their own understanding that comes with them. Now, granted, yeah, if somebody's diving into this genre for the first time, then maybe they're not going to understand it, and so they might need a little bit of an explanation. But you got to do that explanation very light touch, very light. You can't, you can't really get deep into it, and, you know, it's just, it's basic stuff, right? You know, you, you want to focus more on your plot and your characters, you know, all this extraneous stuff that kind of is your world building. That's great that it's in there, but you as the author need to know that the reader doesn't necessarily need to know that and so a lot of times you can kind of leave that out and leave it to the reader to kind of you know piece together what the what the system is you know what these basic things are because again it's like you don't need to say oh hey you know they traveled across the universe and here's exactly how they did it and all the little details and all the little explanations it's like you know it's a basic thing it's travel right you get from point a to point b Sometimes it matters how, how that happens. A lot of times you don't really need to spell it out. So, what about you readers out there? Do you feel like uh, certain authors are belittling you, <laughs> kind of telling you the same things over and over again so that you get the point? Uh, you know, just drop a comment below, tell us about it. And uh, if you have anything else that kind of irks you as a reader or as a writer, uh, again, leave a comment below and maybe I'll get to it in a future episode. So thanks for watching this week's Writer Rant. I'm Benjamin M. Weilert.